This is Kamishida from Kamishida's Corner and Sensational Touch and I'm here with you today making pink sugar soap. So I've started with my oils already mixed inside my bowl and that's my colorant. Oops, I forgot to put my gloves on. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Aha! Got my gloves. Okay, so I have my oils mixed up and right now I'm adding my lye water. You always have to be properly dressed when you're using soap with lye when you're making soap. Making sure that you're nicely protected, just in case I have to keep it on your skin. So these are all my oils mixed up in my bowl that I am blending right now. I have titanium dioxide in the soap batter mix because I want a nice white soap. Because when I add it to the red that I showed you, it's going to have a nice red, a nice pink, and red. So I'm just going to mix until it comes to trace. And I think I got a pretty decent trace right now so we're checking check mix some more and check again and see if it has a nice that looks like a nice consistency okay so I'm going to take put my stick blender on my paper towel so it doesn't make a mess and then just separate out my batter because I want one to be white and as you can see one to be pink all right, so I'm looking for a spoon to mix it up. Oh, I have a spoon, but it has lye on it, so I want to get the lye off there. All right, so now I'm mixing my bowl of pink soap batter. And as you can see, the coloring at the bottom is kind of sticking to the bottom, so you got to mix it up good. See? Pinker at the bottom than it is at the top. And it has a little stream of white right where my finger is. Oops, I'm sorry. I was not trying to be rude, but I realized I'm sticking up my middle finger. All right, so I'm mixing up the batter and I want to make sure to get all the way down to the bottom because I don't want there to be any leftover colorant at the bottom of my bowl. Okay, that looks pretty good. So this is my fragrance that I'm adding in. And when I buy fragrances from my fra favorite fragrance company, I always get little samples and that's a sample bottle right there. So I got a bunch of pink sugar samples huh, to make some pink sugar soap and to make some pink sugar shea butter. All right, so I'm just making sure it's still nicely mixed, mixing in the fragrance, making sure the color is mixed good. I think I'm gonna zap that one more time just to make sure that the fragrance mixes in pretty good, but I don't want it to get too big. Okay, that's about enough. There we go. All right, so gonna put this down now and I'm going to get my mold ready because I'm almost ready to pour the soap batter into the mold okay now I'm gonna do like what we call it in the pot or rather in the mold swirl and I'm gonna put something underneath it so you can see better what's happening inside my mold give it a little bit of a tilt okay so I'm gonna start off with my white soap batter and I'm just gonna make a nice little line down the center of my mold just mixing it up a little bit more, making sure it's nice and smooth and flowy. And then I'm going to alternate between the white and the pink and the white and the pink. So I'm adding the pink now. And what's happening is 
when you add the white on top of the pink, as you can see, it's going to just continue to mix and swirl on its own inside the mold. And that's why it's called the in the mold swirl. So I'm just making different designs. Okay, add some more white. And I'm moving the little thing at the bottom. Okay, adding the last bit of pink and getting every last drop of pink out of the mold. Just gonna scrape my mold for a little bit, excuse my arm. Alrighty, there we go. Getting every last bit out. And then, after we finish scraping the bowl for that, then we're gonna scrape the bowl for the white. Use my arm again if it gets in the way because I'm left-handed. I find it hard to do this with my left hand and scrape with my right. I'm used to holding with my right and scraping with my left. So I'm gonna try to do that without getting in your way. Just getting the last bit of white and I don't wanna leave any of that lovely soap matter behind. Get all of that out into my mold. And then all that's left to do after you get all that wonderful soap batter out is to take a minute to pat the soap down. Now I like to pat the soap down. I'll do that off screen. You'll see me. Just cleaned up my mold right now. But you like to pat the soap down just to get the air bubbles that might be inside to come up to the top so we won't have any air bubbles in the soap. It's also kind of over the top. Now the last thing I'm going to do is take and give my soap a little bit of a texture at the top so it's nice and cute and pretty. So uh, I like to use my spoon and give it a nice little design. And they always say that always leave the first design if it looks decent. Because sometimes, like I did, you go over it and you mess it up. It actually looked really nice on screen, but when I was looking at it from my angle, I wasn't on screen, of course. It looked like it needed some deeper indentations. So I did it twice. And I actually thought it looked better the first time, but the second time also looks decent. So I'm okay with that. Anyway, this is my pink sugar handmade soap. It'll be ready soon. If you want to pre-order, you can by sending me an email. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and send me an email at kamishita at kamishitascorner.com, and I'll send you info.